Uh, definitely gonna be Marth Fox. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. Okay, Marth, let's I'd go. I'd be shocked if Shade didn't go Marth in singles. Yeah, Sam. Shaden's Marth is uh, really pretty, in all yeah. honesty. It has the old school, old school like feel to it. He's, he feels like a slice boy a little bit. Like he kind of just swings the sword. Oh yeah. You'll see. You see the side B once in a rare oh. while. Back air. Yep. Nice. That's good. That's good. I know, Ryan Ford definitely the favorite here. Mm -hmm. I think, in my opinion, win the tournament. Yeah. I don't know if I go that. I don't know if I go that far. But he's definitely the favorite in this match. But yeah. Shaden getting the quick 19% kill, man. Ooh, what a life. That's some nice little dash dance from Shaden there too. But he did not get any sort of a grab. Okay. Ryan Ford's working him while he's in the corner. Oh, but Shaden makes it back to the center. I like how the second Shaden realizes he can't like push his advantage, he just backs off to center stage. It's so good. That's that's like the sign of a good player. Okay, he'll be able to live that. That little side B stall is excellent. Yeah. It's a Marth. Tournament winner less so. Ooh, less so, but yeah, less good, but it still works. Yeah. Tournament winner jump from the ledge. Ooh. You don't know. Is it wins the other person in the tournament? Dude, that's the thing that works at every single level of the game, from bottom to top. Is the spot no no spot dodging the grab. Oh god, it's like, it like works they, so good. When you when you like miss a tech or like you tech whatever, just spot dodge and try to grab you. It happens at every single level. Dude, but then it feels so good when you call out their spot dodge and then you oh, punish yeah. the crap out you of them. Like, like a god. <laughs> wow. I'm so good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Shaden with a hard read up B, and then Ryan Ford's like not even near him. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Yeah. He's kind of swinging for it. Like you said, man, slice and dice kind of Marth. That's totally him. Swings to the fences. Oh, makes it past the Marth killer. Yeah, that was good. There are definitely ways to get past that. Well, you can yeah. sweet spot below it too. Like it's really hard, but you can do it. Yeah, you can. And even just like going in and like hitting him with a fair and then up being on a stage sometimes works. Like you got options. Yeah, I mean. Oh, the tech. Yeah, that was like, sick. The Marth killer is good. That was sorry. That was. There you go. That, that, was, we got one. that was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the reason you would do it is because it's when like they're low enough where they can up be barely to stage. Exactly. It's so, like you just you, you just can't, you can't do that option anymore. Yeah, then they, they have to up be to the ledge and it just falls down. Yeah, like, but we saw like if they're close enough to air dodge or like fair or something like that, it just doesn't work because they can just air dodge on stage. Mm -hmm. Yep. So really only do it when they're a lot further away. Yeah. Oh, really nice. That up tilt into forward air is so crispy. Yeah. Okay. Nice little combo from Ryan Ford. There goes another spot dodge. Down air? Nice. Yes. That up tilt into down air just looks so sick. Oh, it, it's so nice. It's one of the flashy smart combos. And because like both moves are so slow or so much hit stun, you just you see it coming like a mile away, you're like, oh. You like make release. a cup of coffee before yeah. you down air. <laughs> you finish my grave in your burrito, you're back. <laughs> you can finish your free chips and guac. Oh, oh. that down tilt is sick. Wow, Ryan Ford giving him the uh, giving him the kicks this stock, yeah. Yeah. That's totally what you should do when they try to do that side B stall and you're still on the edge, just shine him. Yeah, you know, Shaden, I think Shaden took the first couple stocks and was like had a lead for the first half of the game. But yeah, then, he did. As soon as Ryan Ford like stopped getting like he stopped getting janked by Shaden, he sort of figured out what, what Shaden likes to do in like certain scenarios near the <laughs> ledge. He adapted and then just like proved that he was the better player, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it definitely looked like that. Especially the last stock, like he got one opening and he's like like hit him super quick like, yep. for a bunch of damage. Like, hold up, I can't lose this game. Let's see where they go. Yoshi's story would make some sense. FD, I'm sure, was banned. I think I think Yoshi's is wrong, personally, but it's all like preference. I mean, I think Fountain's the best stage for Marth. Yeah. Scenario. You want you definitely want smaller because you want to be able to get him off. But then FD obviously is the best because like the chain throws. Yeah, FD's the best. I, th I just think Fountain's good because it's small, but it's also like has really high ceiling. Yeah, that's totally the, true. You like the best of both worlds. Yeah, because this ceiling's super low. You'll die to an up smash at like 80%. Oh, that's, that's good. Oh. See, like, last, the first game we saw the exact same sort of setup, but then, like, Ryan Ford, you had it differently, and so he ate the back air. This time he adapted to it and didn't. Yep, I really like how he did that. You can tell that Ryan Ford is definitely one of those people that thinks a lot when he plays. Like, he changes up his play style a bunch. Wow, back yeah. throw up air is sick. Okay, back airs him off. Oh, wow. that's a flubs. Yeah. Randall kind of screwed with everything. Down tilt. Oh, jab. I, I don't know why. Like, I think he was reading, like, the side B onto the stage, I guess. Yeah, or even if he was, maybe he was trying to go for a double jab and was, like, trying uh, to cover, like, the shorten. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, great TI in that up air. Usually that weak hit up air is, like, forward smash city afterwards. Yep. Yeah, Ryan Ford's DI has been, like, really good this entire set. Oh, going for the up smash. I don't think, I don't think that was, in, I mean... I don't know. If you would have gotten the strong hit, I doubt it even still kills. I, okay. I still think up tilt's oh, better. Shy guys. Like, yeah, even, I agree. even if you hit the F smash, up tilt's still better. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a dead nice. Barely gets it, but he gets it. 
just barely gets it, the instant ledge grabs. Yeah. Ryan Ford's playing so well right now. Yeah, I mean, he's on the four-stock But it's actually going to be a four-stock, I just realized. Like, Ooh, it especially it... now that he's got back. Oh. Oh, my God. oh, that should kill. Okay. He doesn't get four-stock. It's something, yeah. Okay, yeah, that was really good. How's he going to be able to finish this edge guard? Oh, he lets Jaden get back. This is actually one of the longest, like, JV potentials that I've seen for a while. Yeah, oh, like, okay, there we go. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's it yet. Yeah, okay, all right. Man. Randall, Randall, like just poking his head out, guys. Like, yo, wait, am I, you guys need me? You guys wait, need you me? need help? Oh, I'm a little late. Okay.